Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 165, rolling our way into March. I hope you guys all had a good few weeks there. I was off in Chicago a couple weeks ago, so we're on to the Wix Online Meeting today. As always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. We've got the usual people, so we're going to go do triage, get caught up over the last four weeks, and then uh, move on to anything else that people here want to talk about. Um, you know, unstructured time kinds of stuff like that. But let's go get the bugs out of the way. Uh, Bob, you ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. We're going to skip the bottom two because those are things to talk about that I just haven't got around back to talking about. Um, default dialog doesn't respect high tr contrast colors. And this is because we have a bitmap. Oh, yeah, we have a bitmap here that is big and white. Um, and he, this user points out that if they make that part over here, I don't know if you can see, oh, you can't see my mouse cursor, that's cool. Uh, the mouse cursor part here, if they make this part instead of white, if they make it transparent, which I assume is what these two bitmaps are trying to show the difference between, um, which works great on a white background, not um, so much, then uh, everything works great. But, yeah. as Blair but, points out, as Blair points out, that only works on um, Windows yeah, 8 and higher. They say Windows 8. Um, technically, they're using WIC in this, WIC. Mm -hmm. So you might expect it to work on Windows 7, but it's the documentation is explicit in saying Windows 8. So I think we're, we're kind of stuck. Um, in, in terms of what we could provide as the default. Yeah, I, or we could not provide a big white block there and just make the image smaller. Well, no. I mean, theoretically that's possible, but it'd be a pretty big change in the dialogues. Well, it wouldn't be a three, it'd be a four thing. Well, even if we did that, it would still be a pretty big change in the dialogues. Um, I just, I, you know, I don't know anyone who's that interested in MSI UI in 2019. All right. But I think that's the answer, right? In Wix 4, someone would have to go and, and do that, right? I mean, that's kind of the solution. Or you just write your own theme. Well, there is a some. Well, you don't even have to go that far. You provide your own, you know, your own bitmaps, and you can make them transparent. So, you know, built-in workaround. That's been there since forever. Um, yeah, can we uh, can we just do transparent and Windows 7 is going out of support within a year? Dude, we can't we can't even get like you know clear consensus that we should drop XP support. <laughs> and um, we're dropping XP support. We gotta come on. No, I I, I I it's just it's slightly too early to do that. Because, you know, out of support or not, people are going to stick on Windows 7 for a while. Yep, yep. Um, I'm, I'm a little hesitant dropping Windows 7. Windows XP is kind of like, yeah, that ship sailed. Um, but mm. Windows 7 is a little bit harder right now, given the numbers. Um, I don't know. I say we put it in floor as someone that wants to go through. I mean, the better, the the, the 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 real answer is to go and update all the dialogues to fix them, right? I mean, that would have to be done in 4.0 oh, as a breaking change. And is it really that many dialogues that change? I thought it was only the welcome dialogue that had the big bitmap on it. Maybe I, my memories might be wrong. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. The last time I looked at this was when I wrote it 14 years ago. Yeah. So I'm kidding. I've looked at it since. But, again, this is a – I hadn't considered what it would take to to change the dialogues except – or the bitmaps, except in the context of something I thought about, oh, yeah, about 14 years ago, which is – driving more of the UI through the through a compiler extension mm -hmm. where you know we could add some intelligence to things like bitmaps 
Um, again, right now we rely on you know, magic variables to replace some of these things. It'd be nice to make that something more strongly typed, in which case we could say, you know, we could give you the choice of, you know, do you want a full um, a bitmap that covers the entire dialogue or do you just want the side? I mean, I don't disagree. Probably the right answer is um, is to not use the big bitmaps that cover the entire dialogue. Um, I just, you know, off the top of my head, I don't know, you know, right, how, we get a, how we get away with that. There, I, I well, that's, I, I, maybe, maybe. I, I'm not sure that that's... I, I don't think that that fixes everything, though, is the problem. I, why did we make it a big white block anyway? I don't know. Because we we started from the MSI UI sample. Yeah, fine. And then we just made all this red over here. Yes. Yeah, fine. I think I actually used MS Paint to do that. I would. The all thing. right. Um, anyway, this is a fourth thing. Someone can go take it if they want do the work to make those things. Otherwise, go do what this guy did and do your own dialogue. Or, hey, don't worry about Win7 support. And um, put your put a transparent ping there. Um, service config element explosive reset period in days. Uh... This is Wix util extension. Um, is it really days? That seems like a really strange thing. It really is, and the code actually does, you know, times 24, times 60, times 60. <laughs> so. Why'd we do that? Well, it's it's the it's the it's the reset period. It's not. Um, it doesn't control like the um, the actual restarting of the service. It's how long. It, you want to wait to reset the the SCM's yeah, failure behavior, or yeah, it's like it tracks when things fail. Still, days is really weird. I mean, I it guess I can really seconds weird. and not milliseconds, but still. Days. Well, even seconds is kind of like really seconds is kind of fast. I think that's I, I don't remember any discussion around it, right. but I think you know the seconds seems kind of quick. It's like. You know. We probably mirrored ours off of theirs and didn't think about it much. The only reason I could think that we would pick days on this. So anyway, so well, actually, the MS MSI five doesn't actually support this. Oh, so we something. This, in, this in is with pseudo extension. Yeah. yeah, we we set it in. I don't know why we would set this in days. It just seems really strange. Um. All right, so this, this so is a little turn into a feature request. Right, so this turns into a fe oh, oh, Rob, come on, read. Um, fine, we can toss it before someone could come out and do the second thing, I guess. And they could write the Wix cop to convert it days to seconds. And yay, we're done. Millisecond seems a little bit. No, the, the API is seconds. Oh, so. okay, great. So seconds, is, I don't know why. It's so weird. Strange decision. Yeah, someone could fix this if they want. So yeah, we could toss it in four. Someone could pick it up if they want to pick it up. Recovery non-functionality should be documented. We should document the things that aren't supported. Okay. No, this is the weird case where, you know, MSI 5 added the configure services stuff, and it doesn't work. And so I added a warning if you try to use it. Yeah. But... There's nothing in the doc that says you're going to get a warning when you use it. So. Well, well. Okay. So we should put a warning on the XSD. Okay. Sure. Okay. Not against. Yeah, that. it's a one-liner. So this, in the end, is that he wants the MSI configure services to be recovered. Okay. So let's toss it in four. And I think we'll just point at the Wix SD, and whenever we figure out how we're going to do doc based off Wix SD, we will pick up that change if he does that. 
Um, I guess we could take it in three, in the next 314 build, we'd pick it up and it would be Doc. I guess I'm not against that either. I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts? I guess, when are we actually doing another build? <laughs> I, I assume we'll have another 314 build simply because, you know, we're probably going to break something else, but maybe we won't. Um, we will have at least one more 314 build. Yeah. Maybe not immediately, but... It seems likely that we will have one. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, I, will, I will point him to where he needs to enter his the content, and then, since he says he's willing to do it, so I'll point him at the XSD, and he could try to do that. And we were taking 314 because it's not really a change, and then we'll just pick it up in the web whenever we pick that whole change up. All right, now let's talk about the fun issue. Um, bundle installation process crashes and remote execution errors. Bob's been looped on this a couple times in different ways. Mm -hmm. Um... Don Firmick has been seeing this crash in the um, uh, uh, I guess it's with Standard BA in the end, right? It's not in burn, it's yeah. in with Standard BA. So the That's crash right. is in with Standard BA and the .NET Core saw it sometimes and now some part of the .NET Framework uh, developer pack saw it and so they've been kind of like poking at us to fix it and or Bob to fix it. Um, they finally done enough work to reproduce the issue down this. At the same time, I think this turns into the same issue that we saw in Fire Giant that a customer hit that we tracked down to um, some com related issues, com handling issues, um, and with standard BA. And at Fire Giant, we're waiting for the Wix 4 code to be in the place, so we'll bring that fix there because we're not taking those kinds of things in Wix 3, but we think we have the fix for this already that we could put in the 314 if we wanted, and we end up in that spot with the .NET Framework guys, and we probably have the fix for this. And the only reason I'm talking about this is because we had another thing from the .NET Framework guys that they wanted like all the stuff signed. And I said if they did all the work to do all the signing stuff, <laughs> that maybe we would, I was basically horse trading a fix. So that's kind of like the whole background behind all of this. Of that, the reason we have this issue, that we would definitely take in four um, as soon as all that code is in place, which, is Wix standard being in place now, Sean? I guess it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we could bring that fix in the four now. Um, the question is, what do we do with fix in three? Because I'm pretty sure these guys are going to want to fix in three. And honestly, the only reason we're having this conversation probably is because it's the .NET Framework at Microsoft. Um, and the fact that that same team has said that they would sign up for doing all the signing work, um, which I have slightly, pinged slightly different John. <laughs> it's the same, they're the same people. Um, it's all Visual Studio people in the end. Um, and Roughly. I've asked John for information about this, and as is typical .NET Foundation, hasn't gotten back to me. Um, so, there's a whole bunch of random background on this thing that's kind of been happening in side channels, because uh, Bob has been telling me, probably have Bob, should have Bob tell the story instead of me, um, that Bob has been telling me because he keeps getting direct emails from these people. Because Bob used to work with these guys a long time on the .NET Framework setup um, in a previous life. Um, so that's all the background. I want to stop there and go, Sean, what's your opinion on this, given a whole bunch of random detail there? I mean, I guess from my perspective, it's the same as some other bugs that we have not been putting in 314. Right. So. So the fix will be in four, essentially. And if they're willing to do all the work to do all the, the signing and everything in exchange for taking this bug? 
I mean, I guess I've been more willing to put other things in 314. I guess it's you guys that have been pushing back. Yeah. So it's not... Because we're trying to avoid all this line. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that, maybe that. And the other thing is that bugs that, changes that we've accepted in 3.14, we've seen regressions for. The two bugs that we've taken in Wix 3.14, I think both have had regressions in them. Which ones were those? There is a problem with the SQL one that if you have a certain SQL installed, the the install won't fall back. Or if you don't have SQL, if you have SQL configured in a certain way, the, the SQL will not fall back. So that change that we took to do the SQL TLS change will actually fail your install if you have the old the new SQL installed but not configured fully or something like that. I don't know. It was some complex comfort. We got a bug on it, the fire giant that was like, oh. So, hey, look, this thing that we took in 3.14 has a bug in it. If you configure in a certain way. And I don't remember what the issue with the other one was, but the other one had an issue with it, too, that we've seen. So every change we've taken thus far, we've seen fallout. Um, the difference in this one is that, well, we've done the fix, and we've verified it with the people to fix it. So um, that's why we don't want to take change to 314, because they keep taking regressions. The only reason this one's different is because, well, we made it, and we verified it ourselves. And this is this is the perennial problem we have here. Well, the other way to look at it, maybe, is that 3.14, again, not a typical release. It's not intended to be one that people stay on. So it might not be awful that we have minor aggressions like this. Like, for example, the SQL stuff. I don't remember the other one, but the SQL one, it's like, well, it didn't work anyway. So you're broken still. No, 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 off. it did work. That was a problem. It, a, a customer where things were working were broken because of the custom action change. Oh. Well, things then. were working. Then they took this custom action change, and things were not working afterwards. Now then I, I withdraw my comment. Yeah, you are not in a better place because of that change. Well, that's a problem because that breaks the, you know, kind of purpose of 314. We shouldn't be breaking anything. I'm okay well, if things you know don't improve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the other yeah, the the another angle on it though is that we're looking at taking fixes like this in 314 only because it's the shipping vehicle. And yeah. so if they're bad that's not yep. good either. Yep. 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 Uh, in general, I'm okay with small changes going in. Um, I think Sean um, has two more small changes that he'll bring up again then, right? Is that right, Sean? Or three or whatever? One, two, or three or something like that? Yeah, I'd have to... I don't remember exactly what they are, but... I don't either. I guess there were some other things that I, I kind of wish were in there. And we haven't done a build when we fixed the MS Build 3 problem. No, because we can't sign. Yeah. <laughs> which, which was kind of the one thing that I was willing to, you know, play. You know, like, hey, yeah, if you guys were willing to do that work, because dealing with .NET Foundation is so painful, it seems. It's just ignore us. <sighs> They're more, I don't know, whatever. Um, so I was like, yeah, if you guys solve all that, then we'll take the pain on this change. It was based the it was the theory behind the horse trading I was doing there. The logic, I guess, not the theory, the logic that I had behind it. I'm not getting strong opinions any which way. I'm all for it, as long as we have confidence in in the in that someone's done you know a reasonable amount of, of validation 
Well, you know, that's the difference here, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I'm comfortable with this change because we validated it when we made the fix for our customer, and we have someone from the, the .NET team who's who I worked with to actually look at the, the changes. Um, I built the bundle with and without the change, and everything worked and failed as expected. So I'm, I have high confidence that this fix is, is good. Um, I guess that's the difference, right? Is like we're doing the fix. It's p fixes from other people that I don't expect them to know the whole system well enough, know how to validate everything to get it right, and they go away and they don't come back and fix things. Well, I'm a little more big humble problem than that. Three fourteen. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's not so much that for me, it's not so much that it's you know the extremely high caliber of people, us doing the work. It's it's, you know, certain changes that we've taken, you know, were kind of clearly done in isolation, and I did not have confidence that, you know, there was an end-to-end -end, uh, view of the world. Yeah, well, I thought one of them came from the SQL team. And that's the one where I didn't, I didn't feel that there was an end-to-end -end view of the world. It's like, right. the, you know, changes made in isolation, how thoroughly was it tested? This is an impression you get. Yeah. Um, so that's the that would be my bar. I I yeah, you know, and I agree. Also, the the you know, well, I got my stuff in, I'm out. That you know, kind of doesn't work. And that's <laughs> Sean. That's my biggest has has been my biggest problem with taking more stuff into three fourteen. Um, I mean, just going back over the years, it's like, thank you for your contribution. And, oh, oh, where'd you go? And if people disappear, then, you know, everything we take, it's on us to support. So um, that's been my biggest fear about taking stuff into 314 is that, you know, at the same time we're saying, yeah, we really need to shut down three so, you know, we can work on four and get, for in a better spot in the world, um, you know, it's like, well, just take this one thing and then, you know, fix it and maintain it. And find well, regressions in it in 314 time frame and fix those instead of working on four. Yeah. Where it is antithetical to getting four out. It's all into Where this one, we have the fix and we have verified it with all the parties involved. Yeah, I don't have problems with small bug fixes in 314. So, all right. Well, then i Okay. Well, then I if all right, then we'll continue the horse trade on this one and down, and we'll go from there. So I guess you could put this in. How? Uh, where do we put bugs? Remind me. Do we put bugs in 314? Because we need yeah, we to should, fix both. In yeah, we should be three. tracking. Oh, I'm fine with 3.14 first. Uh, sorry, from a no. project, from an issue perspective, I'm fine with uh, putting it in 3.14 first. Um, or, you know, we could assign this to someone at Fire Giant since we have the fix. Um, no, and no. Put it, put it in four. I'll do the work. With a note. There's a, there's a bunch of Git manipulation around it. I'm so, happy to let you volunteer yourself. Yeah, um, no, I, I'll do it, because it's just, it's just Git manipulations, and I do that stuff all the time. So, um, yeah, I'll take it, put it in 314, and I guess the last comment is, we've done this, but we're waiting on your organization, if you don't want to use a team, to... to oh, I'll add Heath, no problem. To do the... Um, the thing that they said they would do to get the signing service because we can't get a 314 build out until that signing service thing is done. Yep. And that'll put a natural, yep, it's sitting there. Now all you have to do is get it all up and signed and everything. Uh, do you want me to give it to you in four? So you do that one first since yeah. that's available? Yeah, do it in four. We should I put it in there. Let's, let's do the, you know, let's do what we said we yeah, no, I, make I, people do. Exactly. I want to put it in four first. It's the right thing to do. All right. And we'll roll from there. 
And as always, the answer is that we just need to get four done, which we all know. So on that note, is there anything else anyone else wants to talk about? Jake has been quiet over there, which is fine. He's chilling or busy or whatever. You got anything else going on, Sean? No. No. I haven't been working on Wix very much in the past few weeks. Yeah, it's not last few weeks. Well, I've been out, which is always disruptive to getting stuff done. Um, so, yeah, cool. All right. Um, I've done a couple bug fixes, and Bob's done a few things, so we're... I'm feeling pretty good about the core. I just need to now go find a block of time to fill in the, the big blank areas of bundle and patching, and it's on my checklist, so that's good. That's finally bubbled to that point. All right. Well, on that note, I think we're good for this week. Uh, looking ahead two weeks, I don't think there's anything special about 20th of March, so we will go back and go March. Oh, dude, I forgot my pie. Ha, huh, I didn't. Oh, happy pie day at the end. How did I, Bob, how did you not remind me? This is like your thing. This is like this is like Bob's holiday, I think. I should rename it Bob's holiday pie day. No, 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 no. I really don't eat pie on 314. The last thing I need is an excuse to eat pie, my God. No, 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 but you love this holiday. I think just out of... Um, like A certain level of nerdiness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like I, I'm down with May 4th. Like, that just kind of amuses me, but I know you're more of a Star Trek geek than Star Wars geek, so... Um, That's fair. And to be honest, I haven't also pointed out that, you know, it's, sure, it's Pi Day, but, you know, Really, I should be waiting for you know one fifty nine p.m. Oh yes. Well, isn't it almost one fifty nine p.m. your time? It's an hour away. Oh, an hour away. Yeah. Okay. Right. 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 All right. Well, on that note, happy Pi Day. I think we'll call it here. We'll be back in two weeks doing this again. Hopefully, fewer bugs. Uh, we'll pick up on whatever the discussions move in the next two weeks. I hope to see some of them move. Um, hope make some progress on things, and we will see uh, you all in two weeks. Until then, later. Bye. Bye.